y'all. I recently purchased a new carrying bag to carry my gear around in. Basically, my theremin, my loop station, and all of the things that I need to do live video recordings. My goal was to have a really effective collection of gear that I could wear on my back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of this gear that I do have as kind of a tutorial of what I use to do live music videos. And then I'm going to attempt for the very first time to pack it all together and you're coming with me on the journey. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, here's all the gear that is my most essential, simple setup. We have the Moog Etherwave Theremin. We have our loop station, a Boss RC300, also some Boss FX pedals that I connect to the theremin to make even weirder noises. The Voice Live Play is by TC Helicon, and I connect this one to my microphone, so this is where I get my vocal effects from. Got our Shure SM58 microphone, handy dandy, along with a bunch of cords like XLR and quarter inch cables. For my mic stand, an air turn freedom to perform mic stand. It's a collapsible stand, uh, very lightweight, and has just been incredible so far. Highly recommend. And by the way, if you like this video and you're getting stuff out of it already, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. The Behringer Euphoria UMC404 HD. This is what I use as an interface. So it plays the middleman to get my instrument sound through here and onto my computer when I'm recording. I want to be able to video myself as well. And that's where this nifty little tripod comes in. So I bought this piece individually. It is by Photo Pro. And then this is just a regular Sony tripod. So there you have it. That's pretty much all of the gear that I am thinking of taking with me all over the world. So the last thing to show you is the new bag that we are using for the very first time today. Here is the bag by Headrush and Lila. So it has two outer pockets. One is a little bit bigger, probably for my computer, my MacBook. The other one is smaller up here for different things like cords and stuff like this. And then the main compartment is very large. It's pretty padded, which I'm really excited about for taking it to different places where I'll be in airports. But the cool thing is it's a backpack. It has straps. So I can literally take it on my back wherever I want. So let's see if I can fit a bunch of stuff in here. You ready? Let's do it. It's the clink of ice cubes and racing stones too quick to catch. It's taking turns and scraping. Nikes. I think I did it. <laughs> okay, so the one thing that did not work, I was hoping that it was going to, but it didn't, was the RC300 that I usually use did not fit, unfortunately, with all this stuff. So I anticipated this being a problem a couple months ago and invested in an RC505, which is basically the, the hand version of this foot pedal. It also has five channels instead of three, which is okay with me. So that's what's in here instead. It's also 10 million times lighter. It's about two pounds versus eight pounds, I wanna say. So anyway, let me take you on a tour of my bag. Da, 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 da. Okay, so under here you see the RC505. You see my theremin hidden away. In this towel, um, there is the antennas of the theremin. Just can never take enough precaution. These are cool foam um, pads that came with the bag. Lovely. And then I just snuck in some of the power cords that I need right up here because I had a little extra room. So there is the main thing and it only opens this way. Um, so the whole front opens. Now let's go to this door, door number two. Ready, go. Woohoo! Here we have headphones. We have all of the cords and cables that I'm going to need. XLRs and quarter inches galore. We have the theremin power cord and other subsequent power cords that we need. We have the voice live right over here. We have my boss pedals right over here. And it also has these cool nifty 
mesh bags for littler things. It also has this nifty little zipper right here. So if I had any music or an iPad or a million dollars in cash, it's a nice little secret compartment. Last but not least, we have this top pocket. You open it up. It's pretty simple. I just have the microphone and the mic bag right here and the Behringer Euphoria. And I went ahead and put in another foam pad right there. Basically, the only stuff that I have that didn't fit, the Theremin stand as well as my little collapsible mic stand. And that's pretty much it. It's all there. So let's zip her up and uh, try her out. Yeah, man. My band is on my back. <laughs> That's my new slogan, guys. This is amazing. I've been carrying around a triple trumpet case with my stuff for the past year and a half, and my arm always wants to fall off. And this is fantastic. It's almost small enough to be carry-on size, maybe, but it is super padded, so I feel really, really comfortable traveling with it. And everything is so compact, and it's exactly where I know where it is, all in one place. Holy shit, this is a game changer, and I am so excited to make more live music videos for you, yeah. They're not gonna sound like that, they're gonna sound better. Anyway, thank you for watching this challenge that I put myself through. I hope that it was helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel for other videos on music, travel, creativity, and I will see you later. Woohoo! Okay, bye.